Hey guys, welcome back. Sean here at uh, Airwaves Music. Okay, so this next lesson we're gonna do is kind of uh, when you got a couple songs that are completely different tempos, uh, it's called just dropping it on the one kind of thing. Uh, it's kind of a crude way of doing it, but hey, it works. So let's get so two songs that uh, completely don't work, two completely different tempos, and let's just do a quick way of getting through it kind of a thing. So here we go. So you got your beat, you're tapping away. Two, three, four, five. And you just kinda you just kinda drop it on the one basically, right? So that way it's kind of yeah, it's it's not the prettiest way, but it, it gets through it kind of an idea. So you always want to drop on the one, it'll get through two completely different tempos. Uh, and it kinda keeps the dance floor going. It's a quick transition, but the body and mind it seems to work. So uh, yeah, it's just a quick way of doing it. Drop it on the one. So this next part of uh, mixing is another kind of way of doing it. Uh, it's kind of a favorite if you really just need to get through it and you're not, uh, you know, you're having a bit of trouble, but hey, you know what, this one works. So it's just switching the two volume faders uh, from one, taking one out and bringing the other one in. Real easy way of doing it. So let's get this song running on our uh, deck A. So let's bring up the volume. Okay, so we got that song going. And because we're going to be switching from deck A to deck B, we've got a crossfader set right in the middle. So you can hear uh, your deck A going. So let's let's blend out of this one. Let's say the dance floor is killing. We need something better than this. So quick transition, get that one playing, bring that one out. Bring your crossfader over the deck you like. Easy way of doing it. Um, it gets through some uh, tough situations again if you're doing a hardcore dance song, some requests that they want uh, some a nice slow jam or something like that you gotta do for the bride and groom or whatever it is. It's an easy uh, way of getting through it. So keep that in mind. Simplest form of mixing and uh, it'll get you through anything. Hey, okay, so now we got uh, a couple of different ways of mixing and I'm just gonna show you a quick way of just getting through some uh, dance music. Um, what I like to show is just an easy way without getting too difficult into it. It kind of goes back to the same way of, I like using uh, filter sweeps and taking the bass out of some. Uh, this one I'm just going to use just straight up, taking the bass on the EQ, no filter, and uh, we're going to get through it that way. So I'm just going to fire up a song here and we're just going to go between the two. So now I'm going to swap the bass out. So you can hear the big difference when you swap out the bass and uh, kind of what you get involved. So now we can mix right out of that one. Fade that one out or you can use your volume at the same time. So that's just an easy way of getting through some bass and uh, some dance music. So keep that in mind. Uh, different use of the EQ, uh, different use of the filter, get the volume in there. Dance music's easy, you just find uh, roughly around the same beat, find that boom, 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 and mix out uh, like you would with any other kind of a song. So I'm going to show you another kind of a cool way of doing things. Um, this is with uh, when you got uh, a song that's uh, maybe one of the newer artists actually sampled from an older song. Uh, it's kind of a cool way of uh, doing it. The crowd doesn't really expect it. So this is kind of my way of mixing it. Uh, we got an original song by Toots and the Maytals called Funky Kingston and another song called Don't Stop the Party by Pitbull. So this is just kind of my way of uh, mixing the two, uh, changing it up, uh, getting the crowd kind of uh, catch them on their feet kind of thing. So here we go. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you kind of a cool way to uh, mix between two songs, uh, one being a previous older version that's uh, maybe a newer artist sampled. Uh, so I'm just going to walk you through it. The crowd doesn't really expect it. Uh, it's kind of a fun way to get through it and uh, catch the crowd off guard. So here we'll fire this one up and you can just kind of see just like a quick way of doing it. So 
as you can see, it just takes, uh, you find a good spot in the, uh, in the song of the previous version, a good breakdown or something like that, and then find the equivalent in the uh, newer song, and you just find what works together, and it's all about using your cues and uh, dropping it at the right time, and uh, it sounds pretty good to me, so uh, yeah, just a little extra tip. So there you have it, some uh, easy ways of mixing between different songs. There's a million different ways of doing things and uh, there's no right way or wrong way. There's some bad ways, but uh, we'll try and stay away from those. Uh, like I say, if all else fails, use the different volume faders. Uh, dropping on the one, that's an easy way of getting out of it. Uh, the more you practice, the better you'll get. You can do between the dance music, um, between the older songs. Uh, just know your music, that's the key. Lots of practice. Um, even have just a friend or someone just listen to you play a song and you record yourself. Uh, a lot of the software, there's different uh, functions for recording. So listen to your mixes, you know, just mix for an hour or two, record it and play it back and say, oh, I like when I did this or, oh, I need to work on this. Uh, lots of different ways to do it and practice makes perfect. So keep at it. Um, and like I say, all else fails, your crossfader, volume in and out, and it'll get you through whatever song you're working on. So thanks for stopping by and we'll check out another uh, video, so stay tuned. Thanks.